Oh, what did I do? We're good. All right, welcome back, folks. Today's video is sponsored by me, kind of. Well, my credit card debt. Uh, <laughs> my Navy Federal credit card has rewards as you spend money. And I cash my rewards in for Amazon gift cards in the value of $100. And I purchased the Blue Mega Camp Camping Cooking System. Um, similar to like the Jet Boil, um, but this is definitely the Chinese knockoff. Um, it says real big right there. Made in China. Um, I've looked around on YouTube. I've seen one or two guys um, do like a basic unboxing of this product. So I figured I'd go ahead and give my input anyway. Uh, I did unbox it. It comes packaged pretty nice. Decent box. It's all wrapped up when it comes. We get the customer service card. Um, has email, telephone number. I have two parrots and you're going to hear them in the background screaming um, in the opposite room from them. And when I'm talking, they get loud. So just sorry about that. Uh, customer service card. Same thing on both sides. Email, toll free number. And... Just some basic information on identifying the product if you do call them they send a little um card to claim a free free utensil set which i did already it's fairly easy to do uh you text free to this number on this card and then they'll reply and you basically do a screenshot of your amazon review on the product and give them your name an address and they'll send you the free utensil set now I have yet to receive that utensil set but uh, they were pretty quick to get back as far as the automated system it also comes with a small manual your basic warnings uh, pot volume is 1.6 liters net weight 21.9 ounces it does have the piezo ignition on it which is nice uh, comes with a small mesh bag for backpacking it now i will say that this is a little bit more than a backpacking stove for a single person uh, here's the stove has the nice neoprene shield on it uh, to get it open there's a small button right here we'll push in on the button and flip this lid back now i don't have a jet boil or have never had a jet boil to compare this to um it's well constructed. It's cheaper than I believe what a jet boil would be made out of. The fins on the bottom, um, just in, in viewing some products, are a lot further apart. Um, and the metal construction's not quite as good as a jet boil, but this was 59 bucks on Amazon. So you're getting what you pay for. Flip it open, it has the lid with the strainer and the pour spout on it. Little silicone grip inside. This all packs inside the in the pot. It's the gas canister stand. Um, today I'm going to be using propane. This is an older can. Uh, it's got some rust on it, so it's not going to get refilled. Once it's empty, it's empty. I'll punch a hole in it and dispose of it. It also comes with... The pot rack and then the actual ignition system itself. Um, I went ahead and purchased this small device and I'll put a link to it. I got two of them for nine bucks. But what they do is convert from the small canisters of the isobutane to the one pound propane canisters and I mean, two for nine bucks, the threads on them are decent. They're aluminum. Um, it screws right on here, no problem. I didn't have any trouble with like binding or cross threading, or bad machining. So that little $9, or actually, what was it, 450 because I got two for nine bucks. That little piece is pretty nice and allows you to convert to the one pound cylinder. The pot itself 
does have, I don't know if that's gonna show up. It does have marks inside up to six cups and then above that's 1.6 liters overall. I mean, it's a big pot compared to most of the backpacking stoves. Um, it's not too big because I have a family of three and I mean, I can cook almost anything in this for the three of us and make a full meal. Um, if you plan on throwing this into your backpack as like an essential item for a weekend trip, uh, the Mega is quite large compared to, they have two other ones, two other styles. Um, but for the price, I just, I went for the Mega just to have the convenience of the little bit larger space. The one thing I will say that I have found and I'll show you real quick here. Once I put this on this tank, at no point can I shut the flow of gas off to this burner. Now, you can turn the switch and make the flame stop, but if you wait a second or two and you push the button, propane is still leaking out of this in little amounts. And it, I've gone as far as I feel comfortable with this switch, this, um, knob, the on off to the point where I just don't feel comfortable going any tighter with it and I cannot get the gas to stop. So I'm going to thread it on this bottle real quick and I'll show you. It's in the off position right now. And I can already smell the propane. But the flame and then you let it sit for a second flame flame and I, I mean I can't get it to shut off no matter what I do now I'll light it and I mean it, it cranks you can simmer you can, you, there's quite a bit of control with the knob. Um, <coughs> excuse me. And like I said, if you watch, you can get the flame to shut off. Oh, nope, I didn't get it shut off now. But it never really does shut off. Right there, like a quarter turn towards the on position, and it shuts off. But right now, this is me turning the switch further to the off position. Oh, it went off that time. Still flame though. Just be mindful of that. Um, that if you do hook this to a propane bottle. Now, I'm not going to say that it's going to do the same thing with the isopropyl or isobutane canister. Because I don't have one on hand to try it. I will try it, but I imagine if it's leaking propane through right now. Now, propane is a higher pressure. That's one thing that could change the outcome of me not being able to turn this off. Whereas iso isobutane um, comes in at a much lower pressure. So the propane could just be such a high pressure that it's pushing through this Chinese knockoff valve. And that's why I can't shut it off. But we're going to unscrew it for a minute. Set that down. And I'm going to get two cups of water put in here and do a quick boil test. Right. Get my phone. Get a timer going here. What's up, Bubba? No, I'm not done yet. Almost. A few more minutes. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's get stopwatch. Reset that. So we got our stopwatch. I got two cups of water. Put that in here. And the boil test will be on this upper camera just 
when it's on this propane cylinder, the one pounder, it sits pretty high. Um, I don't have an issue with stability, um, but it does sit pretty high. So I imagine this can get a little cumbersome if you're using the one pounders for some people, if you're car camping, truck camping, things like that. Um, but for the applications I'm gonna use it for in the back of my truck, I'll be fine. I got plenty of space. So I screwed it on and hit the button and instantly the flame came on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock this on there and it locks on just like a jet boil or any other stove. There's two notches here and here. I'm going to lock it on here, crank the heat up. And when I crank the heat up, I'm going to start a stopwatch on my phone. I hope y'all can see that. And we'll see how long it takes to boil. That's on there. She's nice and sturdy. Oh, flame went out because I touched the freaking. Stopwatch. Let's see if I can get this all in the shot without catching my house on fire. So 20, 30 seconds. And I mean, I'm already seeing bubbles in there. Three seconds and we're not a rolling boil yet but we're bubbling and that's not even cranked up I mean I could go higher with this but being it is um, Chinese made I'm not gonna push it to the limits I did use it once already I the first day I got it, I made ramen in it, um, and as you can see, my water was boiling. We're hitting that's rolling boil. Stop. Rolling boil at a minute twenty-four. Bring this down. Bring it way down. And then the lid sits on nice. It's vented. The one thing I will say is this handle, um, it's well made. The only thing is this button here, the way this handle fl flips up, um, I would be careful with it. Um, but again, you get what you pay for it. So just be mindful of the button and be careful when you do push the button and twist the handle. Um, don't torque on it. But I mean, a minute and 24 seconds, and she's boiling. That was two full cups of water. Let me get this thing shut down. And here, as you can see, once that plate heats up, it's like it's even harder to get this thing to shut off because that metal's hot um, and I mean I'm I'm not gonna go any harder on it but right there and then pop that off and then this will actually stay on here and this can actually stay on here and sit back down into the cup. Um, it's hot right now <laughs> and sitting on my stove. So I'm going to let it cool down before I pack it away. And the accessory, it's just a small stand um, to set a pot on. 
it doesn't lock in place. Um, it just it sits on there, rests. Um, you can turn it, and there's little edges that kind of bump up against the two nubs on this platform. And I mean, overall, it's it's sturdy. You know, if it was sitting on a small canister and you had a pot on here, it's not going nowhere. So, I just dumped the water in this. Um, it was literally boiling under three minutes ago. Dumped the water out, hit it with a towel, and I mean, I'm hands on right now. I can go inside. It's warm, but I mean, I can stick my hand in there, leave it on the bottom. So, the metal does cool down very quick. And then we'll pack it back away. Stick that down. Slip the top guide. Clap the legs. Clap. Clap. Clap the legs. It goes on. Like I said about that button. Um, push it in. Flip it. And this bag it comes in. And I mean, this, this unit's already cold down enough that I feel safe putting it back in this mesh bag, no problem. And that's that. And they say on the website in the comments that this will accommodate, I believe it's the 8 ounce um, isobutane can attached to the burner that the larger ones because I know there's like four ounce and there's eight ounce the eight ounce bottle can stay attached to this burner the eight ounce bottle can stay attached to this burner and set down inside of this stove and pack all together with the holder and the pot rack accessory close up and be ready to go now I am going to get a small bottle and check to see if I can shut this flame off because if you can't shut the flame off then there's no I mean you can drop the bottle in there and set the burner down and pack it all together but I wouldn't advise leaving the tank on there um, if it's just gonna seep out one explode if you do find an ignition source um, or when you're ready to use it you have a really nice camping stove in an empty tank because it leaked itself out so that's my review of the blue mega 1.6 liter pot uh, I'm impressed with my fifty six dollars that I have thanks birds uh, but I'm impressed with the fifty six dollars that I have invested in it and it'll do everything I needed to do and more so I will say you get what you pay for when it comes to a camp stove and the jet boils, um, the fire maples, definitely good products. Uh, this is an alternative Chinese made product and it works just as well. So I'm going to stick with it. Thanks for tuning in. Catch you on the next one.